on your radio, online, and on your cell phone. This is your one source. News Radio 850 KOA. Denver 850KOA.com. At 9 o'clock, it's 47 degrees in Denver. I'm Laura Hatch, News Radio 850 KOA. A fatal crash that killed one high school senior and left another in intensive care may have been caused by a blown tire. 19-year-old Levi Patrick of Colorado Springs died after the Jeep he was riding in rolled over on I-70 near Eagle Saturday. Three of his friends, all seniors at Lewis Palmer High School in Monument, were in the Jeep with him. I'm just so, so sorry that any of these boys have to go through this. Tracy Yeager's son Chase was in the Jeep. She spoke with our partners at Nine News. She says the boys were on a spring break trip and a defect in one of the tires caused it to blow out. State troopers say drugs, alcohol or speeding were not factors in the crash. CU students will learn tomorrow if it's going to cost them more to go to school. The Board of Regents is set to vote on a tuition increase in the morning. If approved, in-state tuition would go up to $7,018 a year. That's up 9%. Out-of-state students would pay $28,000 a year. That would be up 5%. A state lawmaker wants it to make it tougher for people under 21 to get medical marijuana. Anybody under the age of 21 to get a medical marijuana card would have to get an evaluation by a substance abuse specialist. Senator Chris Romer speaking at the Capitol. His is one of two bills before the legislature this session dealing with medical marijuana reform. Possible twister activity in North Carolina. The report came in that there was a funnel cloud and debris in the air, and so we issued the warning, and at a later time we got reports of a mobile home park that there was damage. National Weather Service meteorologist Doug Outlaw says that mobile home park is near Charlotte, North Carolina. There have been reports of several tornadoes between Charlotte and Greensboro. Some injuries have been reported along with damaged trees and downed power lines. In sports, another tie game for the Colorado Rockies for the second Sunday in a row. Today's spring training game against the Oakland A's ended in a 6-6 tie. And the final four is set. The NCAA men's basketball tournament will feature West Virginia against Duke and Butler facing Michigan State. It's West Virginia's first appearance since 1959, and Butler is making its first Final Four appearance. Duke is the only number one seed to make it to the Final Four. 850 KOA News Time is 9.02. Higher movie prices, we'll see how Hot Tub Time Machine does its first weekend at the box office. Plus, a great-looking forecast to start the week, traffic and weather for you every 10 minutes. It's Colorado's Morning News Monday, 5 to 9 on 850-KOA and 850-KOA.com. And stand behind our work. Hi, I'm Kent Whipple, child 7 of 9. Now I run things and we call ourselves Whipple Service Champions, plumbing, heating, air conditioning, and drain cleaning. We clear any drain for just $69 anytime. We still have a unique way of doing business. Our technicians are fast response, clean cut, friendly, drug free and background check. We literally roll out the red carpet, wear shoe covers to protect your floors and won't swear. We give all customers my personal name and cell phone numbers because I personally guarantee your 100% satisfaction or you don't pay. Call 877-WHIPPLE. That's 877-W-H-I-P-P-L-E. Because when you call today, we come today. Whipple, they come, plumbing troubles all gone. Here's Christina Dickinson with your 850 KOA Time Saver Traffic Update. There are no major problems tonight. Two and a quarter, 270 are both running at speeds and problem free right now. And I-25 and I-70 look great all across the state. Take a look at your 850 KOA mountain traffic. If you're headed down from the high country, it is a gorgeous drive. No accidents and no slowdowns anywhere along I-70. I'm Christina Dickinson, News Radio 850 KOA Time Saver Traffic. From the 850 KOA Weather Center tonight, mostly clear, overnight low of 35 degrees. Tomorrow, spring, it'll be warmer and sunny, high of 69, low around 36. Tuesday, even warmer, sunny skies, high of 78, low of 44. I'm Laura Hatch, News Radio 850 KOA, 850KOA.com. The Acute Eating Disorder Center at Denver Health provides treatment for patients with anorexia or bulimia who have medical complications. Denver Health, 150 years of providing level one care for all. DenverHealth.org. That's DenverHealth.org. Many dental offices still treat gum disease with the same painful, deep scaling procedure that's been in use for decades. One dental patient, Jim Meadows, wants to know why. That procedure is right out of the dark ages, and I speak from experience. I had it done 11 years ago. The dentist actually scraped my gums away from my teeth with a scalpel. 
The pain was excruciating and the recovery took forever. Oh, and one other thing, it sometimes doesn't work and you have to do it all over again. The second time around, I went to Dr. Ron Van Wetchel. He uses state-of-the-art Lanap laser gum therapy. There was virtually no pain, no bleeding, no packing, and my recovery was twice as fast. So here's my question. If three out of every four Americans have gum disease in some form, and if Lanap has been proven to destroy germs deep inside the gums, and if Lanap is the only FDA-cleared laser gum treatment, then why aren't all the dentists using it? Call Dr. Ron Van Wetchel at 303-989-6500 to schedule a free consultation. When you're there, ask about a free teeth whitening. Call Dr. Ron Van Wetchel at 303-989-6500. Across America, it's the weekend with Mike McConnell. That'd be me. Yeah, go back. What's the date on this? Uh, I don't have it, but this is prior to the final version of the health care reform. 